And here we are at the cornucopia, and if I just zoom out here, you're going to see how beautiful this cornucopia is. Because if we look around us as everyone gets their required stuff, look at this dome. Look at that dome. But more importantly, I don't see any combat going on right now. I do see some spiders and some uh, mobs spawning over here, but not too much. And I don't know if you've guessed it yet, but this guy's in a bit of trouble. He's going to have to get away. Oh, taking lots of damage from mobs. This is a labyrinth. And if you don't know what a labyrinth is, it's another word for a maze. <laughs> and I don't think a lot of the combats realize it yet. And we see our first death right there from actually a, a player kill. This is a giant labyrinth. And when I say giant, I mean absolutely massive. And I'll tell you one thing. Wood is very hard to come by. So let's go see if we can find some players. Yeah, you can see all the people in the lobby. Like, dang, like, oh, man. <laughs> this is a... This is an amazing map. When I saw it for the first time, I was so surprised. So I just want to say, this game is probably going to go on a bit longer than we expect. So we see Drac mm -hmm. finding this little hideout of a lot of wood, actually. You know, if I was him, I would literally get all this wood. But we see... Oh, you know what? I think Fozar and Ethan are... I think they're actually on the same team. <laughs> I think we <laughs> were right. That well, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I hope these two people win. But we see some they of these ores. You found chest. Yeah, they found a, chest. Found a chest. We see ores down here, but it's really hard to find wood. So it's going to be really hard to really do anything. Uh-oh. Fozar, what was that? Fozar, you hit him twice. Mm. Well, don't do it. I don't think... I think it was maybe an accident. Let's see what's going back yeah, over here. Sorry, so we see Draco over here getting that wood, and he's now leaving the area. It's going to be a little difficult to commentate this, and I like when the, the server designers were actually telling me about this. Oh! Ed guy's actually made it to the top of the map. This will probably help him a bit, but he's going to have to be careful. <laughs> Seeing quite a few mob kills. Whoa! That was three kills by a creeper right there. Oh, I'm tons of lag. I don't know what that's all about. Not my computer. It's probably the server. But yeah, we actually had three kills right there. What happened right here? I don't know. I just saw lightning. Oh, <laughs> I know what this was. Okay, you know when it says blew up? That was a team. Right here, there was actually a secret tunnel. It looks a little bit like this one right here. But that secret tunnel was triggered with TNT. I remember this being in the building right now. Uh, so they were walking through the tunnel, and they triggered a, a pressure plate, and it blew all of them up. So that's actually quite funny. Sorry, so I have to take a moment here to say um, Ethix got slain by Draco. Draco Mel there. So I just want to let you know that if you're noticing this guy right here, I'm spectating, he has a compass, and you're probably wondering why he has a compass. And did you say Ethos was slain? Yeah. Ethics? Oh yes! That means that uh <laughs> that means I might be a winner. Mm. But every player was given a compass and it points towards the cornucopia to help him with the map. We just wanted to help him just a little bit. That was one of the uh newest additions, wasn't it? It was one of the newest updates, I think. Let along me... with the anti X ring. Yes, yes, that's what I've heard. Let me actually get out of here, and it's really hard to really see anything. But let's... Oh, so Skipper has actually gotten on top of the map. And who who was reading rooting for again? I kind of forgot. I think, um, I think he died. You're going for Phazer. Yeah, he died, didn't he? Did he die? Yeah, I think he died. Phazer was oh, his name. Wow. Well, actually, quite a few time. people are still alive. <laughs> this is probably the most people we've seen alive at this point of the game. But I would have to agree with Skipper's... Um, kind of mindset right now. You really want to get on top of the map and scout around. Because when you're on the ground and searching around, it's really hard to find important resources like this huge farm of trees right here. Uh, are you a pedo? Just saying, uh, giant, we didn't die from TNT, we died from a creeper. Oh. Well, <laughs> the tunnel still exploded, so I hope we got someone. <laughs> it's a bit mean. Let's go check out blocks over here. He's found a chest, and I think he found a little bit of wood. I don't really know what he's picking up. Let me look at his hand. Just an apple. So, trying to get any food as possible. Oh, but T-Roy, taking this chance to actually jump down, and he's going to get him from behind. Yes, hits him once, and he's not paying attention. There he is. He's going down. And I think I'm just going to call him Roy. Internet Explorer Roy. That's really what it is. He's doing his little <laughs> celebration. He killed him. And he okay. should be able to continue on. He's got to act. Is that an iron sword? That's well, an iron. Are, there's lots of surface iron on this map, isn't there? Yeah, so. but I mean, you have to get tr like you have to get wood. So Roy already with an iron sword, doing quite well. Actually, I don't think there is any subsurface iron or anything really else. So Batty's getting killed with there, I think by a creeper. That's really what it means when it gets blown up. But Roy is, I think, gotten 
the best weapon in the game that you can get for this map. So now all you have to do is get more iron and continue out his quest to win this game. Let's see if we can find anyone else in this map. It's probably going to be a lot easier to teleport to people, which is what I'm going to do at this point. Let's go check out James. He actually just got that kill right there. And it looks like his player was trying to escape onto the vines. These are actually supposed to be big vines, but it's, it's kind of weird. I, I guess it came out that way, but James has now disappeared. Where did you... Uh, so, uh, there he Doodle... Is. Oh, dear. <laughs> Doodle was just ch chasing Iroy there, and uh, he pulled up the sword. accidentally jumped off the top of one of the mazes, so... Oh, man. That's a lot of damage right there. Oh, and then Iroh just got slain by a... Uh, a creeper. A, a creeper there, Really? Yeah. Okay, so Iroh just died. He was probably one of the biggest contenders because he had the iron sword. And now, he may have actually gotten the iron sword destroyed. Because I think creepers mm. blow up quite a few things. I mean, I was playing some Minecraft this morning, and I died so many times to creepers. And a lot of the stuff has been destroyed from them. <laughs> the crazy thing is, have you seen how many mobs there are in this uh, this little bit by the cornucopia? Because obviously we've got the increased mob spawning um, around players. And if you just look in this bit, the little the dark corridor around it, there's just so many mobs. Look at this, actually. Who's on top of the map? We see Skipper's on top of the map right now. He's actually on the dome. And he, I saw an ender pearl. At least I thought I saw an ender pearl in his hand. But man, that's a lot of creepers. Oh my gosh. They're going to be the best feast in the world if you're going to go into the into the cornucopia. So we're 12 minutes into the game and we only have 14 players left. This is about the average trend of people dying. Uh-oh. Kagi got killed right there. He was a pretty big uh, competitor in our games before. It was also, he got to the diamond in the spawning zone. Got killed by Bruno. I don't know if we can really see anyone. Let's go check out where Bruno is. Uh, he's in a team of three down here with O Juicy Juice I do and see it. Line Ranch. So they're trading iron swords and they're now uh, running to go find some more people to kill. It's weird. They're communicating, I think, through VoIP. Uh, probably the team speak, to be honest. The one we were in as well. And do they spot that player? No, that's not a player. That is a lot of creatures. Why are there so many down there? Yes, they are all in team speak. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just find it interesting how often that these uh these teams form but how often they actually get destroyed but i don't understand why there's so many mobs spawning in this map i mean i know it's around the cornucopia but maybe it's because it's dark inside it's just because it's literally pitch black around that cornucopia it's uh, wow mossy cobble, i mean it, so. yeah it is just look how many mobs there are there better be like a full diamond set in that in those chests because they're gonna have to go through hell to get it <laughs> So let's go back over to this team of three and see what game plan they're going to be choosing to do next. I think my bet at this point would probably be on Draco Mel here because he killed my, he killed the poor panda and uh, he oh, seems yeah. to have almost full chainmail. So, well, he has leggings and uh, body. So, and he seems to be cooking some iron. So. Uh, I don't know, we'll dude. Skipper's on top of the map. He, no one's really contesting his position right now. I don't really know where he went. He's still on top of the map. As long as yeah, he can, still. as long as he can keep up his hunger, he should be fine, right? Um. Yeah. I mean, he seems to be. Uh, I think that's some vines he's got hold, held on. Yeah, got hold of here. So he should be able to have easy access up and down. But. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, foods on this map, there's not very much dirt, so I don't think there'll be much um, actual farming going on. Yeah, when other we, than that, we see really... actually quite a bit of dirt. Like, I don't know if it's to say there's not a lot of dirt. There's a lot of dirt quite a few oh, places. Oh, yeah, right, around the edge. There's yeah, tall grass as well, but you're still going to have to go kill those skeletons to get insta wheat. Yeah, because otherwise it's just not... It's you're never going to be in one place long enough to have all the bones. Skipper just jumped off. Uh, yep. <laughs> he just, <laughs> just saw that. He just he just said tally ho and jumped off. Maybe he thought that's I don't know. Maybe he thought he, he can just... make it, <laughs> but that was too far of a jump. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking, but he fell off. And I don't know what he's really doing now. Um, no, no. Let's see where he would be going in the future. Not really many places to go to. See if this one might. If I was Skipper right now, I don't know what I'd be thinking because. Uh, I, he doesn't really have any sort of weapon at all, no. and if you ran into anyone else at this point, it's pretty much game over. So, apart oh. from that Ender Pearl, hmm. Draco getting that kill. He could use the Ender Pearl to like escape over a wall, which would actually be kind of cool to see. You know, just going <laughs> to the other side of the wall. 
But we see Draco landing that kill. So, yeah, he is looking like a pretty good competitor right now. And he did find the crazy amount of trees here. Also, he... For I actually didn't think about this. Thirst is going to be a really big issue in this game. Yeah. There's only a few, you know, supplies of water. This being one where Draco is. And this is becoming nighttime. You know how hard it's going to be to wander around these, like, hallways? With all okay. these mobs spawning? And it's you know what? Terrible. In the morning, a lot of them aren't going to despawn very fast because the shadow and the shade is going to be there. Oh, uh, yeah, that's very true. So we found this group of three again. And they do have a source of water, so they're all going to be fine on water. And they actually dug through the wall. <laughs> they, they just straight on <laughs> dug through it to see wow. what was on the other side. Um, so I think Draco has found Link Coleman, but I think he's... Link Coleman's a bit... Uh, He's quite far underground there, I think, so... But he is looking for him, Draco. Yeah, I'm on top of Link right now, and I can't see anything. Let me go back over to Draco. Mm. And see what he is doing. It is nighttime, so he's going to have to be careful what he's actually planning on doing. But he did indeed find him. And, you know, whoa! Draco is in iron boots, I uh, chainmail chest, and chainmail pants. Yep. That's a pretty good setup. And he's got eight iron cooking, so... Wow, he can make a lot of... He can, he can finish off the helmet, or he can make the um, chest, which is a ton of iron. But if he hasn't, or a ton of armor, really what I meant, he can make iron swords, which is really going to help him win yeah. this game. I wish he could make iron arrows. I thought iron arrows would be a really cool idea. <laughs> because I know right, you, you use flint for the normal arrows, and it does, like, I don't know, however many hearts. I wish iron arrows would do double the damage. It'd be a lot cooler. So you can actually make cool arrows or maybe if you use like i don't know maybe well I w you wouldn't want it to make too many arrows or you waste a whole ingot on one arrow but i don't know how you do it i think fire arrows would be quite good but that would be cool i would like that as well i wish you know flame bows you know how you can enchant bows the flame enchant yeah i wish that that was the bow on the arrow on fire yeah that would be cool I know, yeah so you could just sort of like switch between ammo That'd be quite interesting. So, it looks like Draco is not going to worry about Link, and if Link is going to dig away, which I think he is doing right now, he is going to be able to escape the treachery, but he is digging straight into a bedrock wall, so he better watch <laughs> out about that. Mm. This spider is just chilling on top of this, on top of that little wall. You know, I find surprising here. Oh, wow, that's just some cows spawning. That's interesting. I don't see as many mobs as I expect. Never mind, I see plenty of them. Never mind, I take that back. <laughs> there are plenty of mobs in this map. Uh, just around just about every corner I can see. Oh, yeah, this is the room I made right here. The nether room. It's pretty bad, but it still looks quite nice. Do we see any other players around here? I would feel like it'd be a good idea for the players to stay near lava. If they really wanted to fight off a lot of monsters. But here we see Skipper back on top of the map. And he is going to be able to take control of that high ground, which he was doing before. And let's see what plan he is thinking of. Let's actually go ahead and spectate him. So he's got his compass out, or maybe it's just because it's in his first lot. I, I never really figured it out with his plugin yet. But he seems to be debating what to do because he doesn't really have a lot in his inventory. He does have that. Im he has the ender pearl, but he only has a wooden sword. Which I mean, he's around all these trees. Why doesn't he just get some cobblestone and make a stone sword? It will help him a lot in the future. But he doesn't have like any food, and he really his main thing is that one bottle of water and the ender pearl. That's about all he's really going to be able to do. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Skipper looked like he was going to be a big contender, seeing how high he was, but wasn't able to do much. So Lion Ranch apparently died. He was underground. Yeah, he got taken out by a spider. He must have tried to cl come to the surface. And that just it's wasn't just a good idea. So many mobs. <laughs> you know, if you fly really high in this map, you can see like little light sources about what's going on. It kind of gives you a good hint of where people are, or where lava is. So we can go check that out real fast. So I think, um, I'm not really sure if Josh, uh, Josh Cantrell, I know Josh Cantrell and, uh, Menastatius are on a team, but I think they've just met Ojuicy and Bruno, who aren't on their team. So it's two teams have just met here, I think. So we saw Skipper just die there as well, which is not cool, because I thought Skipper was gonna, you know, take this as a lone wolf, but he wasn't really making that big of a, you know, battle strategy to actually do that. Oh no, those two, uh, the two teams of two just both formed a big team of four there. <laughs> oh really? So, uh... Oh, yeah. I see it here. I thought it was a team of three before. 
not sure. I think one of them died. I thought Juicy, Josh, and Bruno were all on the same team, and I think Mana now is joining the team as well. Just looking in the team speak, Josh, Bruno, Mana, and who was the other one? Juicy. Yeah, yeah they're Juicy. all in the team speak. So. so it looks like this team has combined now, which is going to be pretty big. I mean, of all the people left, we see what? We see eight people left in this game? <laughs> so or I what, guess nine players. There. <laughs> so lots of people left in this game. It's going to be pretty hard for them to compete with a four-player team, seeing all these here. But I really like this map. This, like, the fact that it's the I think man. when people came out here, they didn't expect the labyrinth to really kick in. But, because, I mean, you were walking into this hallway, and immediately you see this giant, like, walls above you, right? With a few vines in it. And then you take a, like, a turn, and you see another wall. And I think right when you take your first turn, you realize, like, how screwed you are for this map. Because it's so hard to find a lot of necessary resources to live, such as that water. Which, I mean, they are close to a little bit. And we, is this a boat? I think this is supposed to be a little boat over here. With a chest in it. With nothing in it. Someone must have looted the boat. But I think food is going to be the hardest thing to find. And they found this little outcrop of wheat right here. But it really wasn't too much. Not for a four-man team, anyway. Yeah. They're going to have to have a lot of wheat to be going in the process. Yeah, I feel this lag. I don't think it's me. I think it's the server. Mm. So yeah, we, we actually know. see... Hold on. Juicy and Bruno both have two pieces of armor. Do you think that's going to play a role in who's going to take the winner of this game if this if these four players are left? Because they were communicating saying they need armor. But I'm not too sure if they're going to all share it evenly. Well, looking just looking at uh, Juicy there, I don't think... I don't think they're planning on sharing it very evenly, but... Okay, so we see Bruno now with the iron chest. Oh no, Bruno's had the iron chest from before. But Josh and Mana are still without armor. And Juicy just put, I think, iron boots on. If I saw correctly. And now Juicy is pretty much geared up to uh, win this game. I'm pretty sure Juicy can take on both Mana and Josh if they wanted to at this point. Yeah, but not Bruno, I don't think. No, I think Bruno is actually on the same... No, Bruno's not on the same team as Juicy, is he? Mm. I don't fully remember. They're I think all, I think they are on the same team actually. They're all in team speak together, but yeah. I think they might have found James uh James Rayner there. Yeah, we saw him in the yep. wall. That's <laughs> actually quite goes. interesting. I wonder how they found him. Maybe they saw the name through the wall. But uh mm. they found him and they're getting shot by a few skeletons. What is in here? Oh, they see a furnace in here, and that furnace has a piece of iron in it. So kind of an interesting place to be in that wall. The cook. You're going to be excluded yeah. from everyone else. And you know you could dig down under the streets and kind of use that as like almost sewers and run around the street, you know, run around the place. But you're going to be short on food. So it's going to be a long-term strategy that would take a long time to really be effective. So has this team split up sli slightly? I think they have. Because we see one player that ran over here back to get the iron. I guess he's running back now. But he went to pick up the furnace, I believe, and that was Juicy. And Juicy's getting hit by that zombie right there. And they're all fighting him off now. You know, one thing you gotta be really careful of, which I've seen on teams, when I was when I was with my friend, right, in the Hungercraft Automated games, when we start swinging at the same mob, you hit each other a lot more often than you actually believe. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. like all of a sudden he'll just run in front of me, I'll just hit him with my sword, and then he'll be like down to one heart, and I'll be like, well, not my fault. <laughs> but I'm gonna steal all your, uh, all your bread that you have. So, damage. I wonder how often these players actually end up hitting each other, and how big of a role it is on the kind of mindset for all of them. I don't know, I mean, with mobs, um, it's obviously a lot easier because you don't really panic if there's a, a zombie in front of you. You can take it out in quite a controlled manner, but if, say, you came up against a team, or another team... Um, uh -oh. oh, that's yeah, a lot of damage. All, Those two... sort of, also, I think they found CR Tarrell here, and uh, this could be a death. Could be a couple of deaths, maybe, if CR Tarot can get a kill. But... Yeah, but both of them just got hit by a creeper. Like, twice. And I think Josh is saying something about food now. Yeah, I think Josh is really low on health. I wish I had my my, my actual uh, HUD on. I'd be able to see him. But I think he's gotten really low from those two creeper hits. And he needed food, because if you're not at full food, you won't... I guess it's like 80% food. You won't regen your health. <laughs> CR Tarot's taking uh, Damage. three hits here Four from hits. the skeleton. I'm gonna guess maybe a fifth hit if the skeleton can move more. Yeah, he's gonna here, get killed. Here he comes. Juice, here yeah. comes the death. There's no chance. He's being chased after. Any second, Juicy's gonna get this kill. Almost getting hit by another skeleton. And there it is, two. And one last hit oh. to secure the kill. And there it is. 
seven players left, and it is going to be a hard time for anyone else to really uh, take it from this team. But then you have to decide who is going to be able to get the win on this team, since everyone's a pretty big competitor. Because what I've seen, I don't know if you've seen it as well, Juicy is in full armor, full iron armor, or almost full iron armor. He's got a lot of iron right now. So, from teams winning in the past, the second that they kill another player, I see him all of a sudden just start switch, like turn around and start hitting each other, right? Yeah. Is that going to impede? And I've seen it being, I've seen it been a big factor before. When they go for that last kill, I see some players hanging back, waiting for other people to take damage, maybe one or two hits, and then when they kill the other person, they immediately start hacking at them. I don't understand why these teams let that happen. Well, I mean, it's going to happen in the end anyway, and uh, there's a certain amount of communication that goes on with the team, and I suppose if you're not really thinking at that time, if you don't know that it's the last person maybe there, um, you might be less inclined, you might just charge in recklessly, being like, yeah, I want the, I want the glory of this kill, and then not realize that... Uh, Actually, your teammates are standing right behind you, ready to stab you in the back. Yeah, ready to stab done. you. So all of them going to that fountain to get uh, regen in thirst, and I don't really see anyone else really around here. Well, we've got that team of four, and then we've got Draco and Link Coleman left. Draco is in full iron. He has an iron sword. Uh, Link is underground. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I thought Link actually died earlier. Uh, I don't think he's dead. I think that's when you teleported to him and he was pitch blackness. Yeah, yeah it I thought, was. <laughs> I thought he died, though. You know what's interesting, though? We sa It says there's seven players left in the game. Does it? But yeah, it six uh, I don't know. Oh, it says six in you? Maybe it's because it shows me as a combatant for some reason, but I'm not. Oh, yeah, it says seven players left, but there's... Yeah, there's only... If you we count see them, there's only six. Tab, you so, actually, them. you know, I don't see him with an iron sword. I see him only with a stone sword. Or maybe he's just using that. Or is that iron? I can never tell with this texture pack. I'll go over to him and have a look. Um, I think oh that's no, that a stone is a stone sword. sword. So, yeah. You know, that iron was... versus stone. Stone's gonna lose every single day. That is a lot of mobs. He needs to get out of here. What is he even <laughs> fighting all these guys for? I don't really know. He's still fighting them. Maybe he needs the bones. I'm not really sure. Is, was there supposed to be a feast of the cornucopia, or what is he going in here for? Because he is just <laughs> charging in. <laughs> this is what I call ballsy. Yeah, he's just charging straight in. Taking, or I guess he's trying to actually. Uh, he might be luring them out. He's, get he's them doing a good job doing that though. That spider is just trying to <laughs> jump and get Assassin's him. Assassin's Creed on his arm. Yeah, but yeah, he's doing a good job taking them, making a lot of fire damage. But he still has to get to that cornucopia, and I wonder, you know what, that could win in the game right there. If he can make it to the cornucopia, whether it be like burrowing underground and actually making it into the arena, the other team is still gonna have to fight inside to get inside of it. And that's going to take get a lot of damage on them, or at least get them started. And you're going to have a really secure cornucopia. It's very true. Also, I think you're going to be able to wait out if you have enough food. You should be able to wait it out in between feasts. But you're also going to get set up because I've seen a lot of feasts be extremely helpful, whether they have ender pearls, arrows, just about everything you could possibly want. So let's see what he decides. I wonder if he knows you can actually burrow underground. The first kill you right away. No. Like Orman says. I, I believe thirst is just like hunger. When you run out, it'll start doing ticks to you. And then oh, eventually. Oh, Josh found my lava chest. It'll eventually yeah. do that. You mean my lava chest? What? You can't claim my lava chest. Is it the one in the lava fountain? The one who said, "He who looks without sight, sight has true faith." Is it in? Is it in lava? Is it in a lava fountain? It was my chest. I placed it there last night. What? Paying... <laughs> What's it got in it then? Huh? What was in there? Two cookies. That's what I put in it. It's got a bow and ten arrows. Oh. That was my chest. <laughs> Where? Are you? I don't believe you. No, I, I must have made a different. Draco's not paying Teleport attention. Teleport to me. Oh. Teleport to me right now. I don't know. I'm watching Draco win this. That was my lava. Ch Hold on. Okay. It's definitely mine. Oh, I I teleported the wrong person. Okay, no, that wasn't mine. No, yeah, I have a different exactly. one. I have a different secret lava Stole chest around. Idea. Great, now they know there's another lava chest. <laughs> if they can find it. It's okay, there's like nothing in it though. Yeah, my mom is Oh, crap. they're being chased by quite a few creepers here. All it's of them being set on fire. <laughs> All of them. That's a really good tactic, actually. They can get a lot of gunpowder off of this, which I don't know if that'd be very useful. But, <laughs> you know, why not? TNT's always useful. 
they're not all fighting these. They can easily take these. I don't know why they're not doing it. And that's going to blow up. That's mm. definitely going to blow up. Um, Juicy probably took about two hearts. Josh is actually there. set on fire. Uh-oh. Josh, <laughs> is that going to kill you? Fire is extremely deadly. There, he hit the water down. Josh, oh my gosh. Josh actually took the time to write out, <laughs> help me. <laughs> and he should have actually just jumped in the water as fast as he could. Josh has to be low. He has to be low. Mm. I think so. But he's still facing this creeper, so he can't be too low, otherwise he just wouldn't do it. He must be near the cornucopia. Or at least, yeah, this is semi-close to the cornucopia. <laughs> Juicy getting a bit annoyed there. <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of the point, I guess it wasn't the point of the game, so that happens a lot more than uh, you think. The nerves of people actually get played very hard in this game based on small mistakes. And a bunch of small mistakes can come to a very big problem, and that problem is them inevitably dying and losing the game. But oh, these players what. are now taking to the top of the map. So Draco's spelling out something here. You know, he's actually pretty close. He's going to have to be careful, because the other team should be able to see him now. Mm, I think they're about the cornucopia apart, so... Yes, they are. And he is spelling something, and I want to know what it is. I don't know what he's spelling. But... Better not be YOLO. It better not be YOLO. Oh, Alright, does this count for a couple creepers on top of this? <laughs> Maybe it's just <laughs> YO. You know, he's taking damage from this, so it's kind of already karma getting back at him. <laughs> It'd be funny if it uh, caused his death with spelling it. Let's go yeah, see what the other team is doing. Actually, let's go check out what Link is doing, because we saw him around here soon. Is he still in that dark area? Yeah, he is. Is he just going to try to set this out? It's still sitting you know, he's actually in a huge tunnel. You can barely see it, but we are in a huge tunnel. Let's go see what Josh is doing. Did you read that? Only one more minute until the drop, and I've made a new rule. Only teams of two or less can get the cornucopia drop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, they could split into two different teams. Yeah, that seems the logical thing to do. But, but I don't know if they're even going to be able to get in there. And if they are going to split into two teams, one, they're going to be smaller in numbers. And when they go into the cornucopia, it's going to be even harder for them to, to get it. Because they're not going to be able to fight the mobs together. Mm. Oh, dear. Draco has seemed to be fighting off the hordes here. Maybe the, he maybe the sign. And he has got into the cornucopia there. So there is a drop of the cornucopia right now, right? That's what it um, said. Um, I think it's in a yeah, it's in a minute. But Draco's sitting there waiting. Uh oh, hordes behind him though, coming in. You know, <laughs> he's at a really good spot though, because he's actually at the cornucopia. He doesn't have to fight through any more of them. Uh oh, destroying a lot of the chests. You can still see an iron sword in there, but he did happen to grab one himself. There are some more bread, so I guess the drop already happened. <laughs> Even pistons in there. That's kind of funny. <laughs> So, Draco is now kind of going to be taking his cornucopia for his own, and there has to be more teams inside uh, that have to be coming soon. That I don't know if they know Draco is in here yet. Do we see him? Yeah, we, they, they're up there now, and they now see him in there. So, they're not going to be able to get the cornucopia drop, mostly because Draco has stolen all, but they should be able to do at least a little bit of damage to him. Draco is putting a sign up. <laughs> no damn. So, I don't know what Draco's going to do now. Because the other team was up here recently, and where actually are they? Where is he? Oh, they, they come over to the other side now. Are they going to split up into more teams? No. They've actually just broken some of this glass, and they're going to watch Draco to see what he's going to be doing. They actually have arrows, and they're firing arrows. They actually hit him with one of them, and now Draco is running behind a tree, because he don't know where he got shot from. He probably thinks it's a skeleton. Missing uh, another he's one. Shooting Bruno there. He's hitting Bruno. Getting shot. So here he is. Who's climbing up the vines? Did someone fall down? Yeah, that's uh, Bruno the miners in the middle of the vines, but getting hit by Draco. Oh man. Um, Menestatius is standing up the top here, shooting back at Draco. And you know, Draco's being killed by quite a few mobs right here. We see at least one or two of them on him, and that is doing a bit of damage. And you have to be careful because every bit of damage kind of adds up. Yeah, that's true. Uh-oh. He is hitting a... Oh, right oh, there. We see him. Draco nice taking out Bruno. And has now eliminated that four-player team into a three-player team. There's a three-player team. I, I think I see some silverfish there. <laughs> On the top of the uh, roof? Yeah. 
Um, I don't see. Well, just up a little bit from the cornucopia, actually, just on. You know, I don't know where they've come from. You yeah. know, Draco is actually hitting mana quite a few times with the bow as well, and I bet Draco has quite a few more arrows than uh, mana does. Well, mana has uh, virtually no armor as well, so he has to be careful. Oh man, getting hit again right there. Quite good arrow shots. Quite good shots from uh, Draco. And let's see what their strategy is going to be now. Whether it's going to be to run away or to regroup. Actually, no one's near mana. Did they leave mana? Um, they're all on the roof, but um, mana and Juicy are on complete opposite sides. Oh, I see it now. Josh is on. But does Juicy yeah. Juicy only has a bucket of water? It looks like he might be making a descent somewhere soon. But there's still a lot of mobs to deal with, and it is becoming nighttime, so it's going to get even harder for them. Hmm. So I think Juicy's going to try and uh, water his way down here, maybe. So here yep, it is. Yes, he's putting he the water bridge down and actually picking it back up. A very good strategy to use if you want to make a a quick entry, but you're not going to be able to escape very easily. Okay, he's trying to make sure that he doesn't uh, drag in as many of these mobs as possible. Creeper exploding. Makes his way underneath the cornucopia by accident there. He gets trapped by... Uh... Taking quite a few hits, and that creeper is going to explode. Oh. He might be going down here. He's going to have to be extremely careful. Spider's still on him. He needs to turn around, but he says no. He has to be low on health, but he's going to charge right for the cornucopia, and nothing is going to be there. And <laughs> Draco's just sitting here in this little uh, mud hut he's uh, constructed for himself. <laughs> and Juicy now finds himself in a very precarious situation, trying to build a wall or something to escape, but not really able to. He's going to have to make another pass at it. Three spiders behind him and multiple skeletons shooting at him. Right now is not the time that he wanted to charge down in here. And he is going to try to escape, and hopefully he can do so without taking much damage. So he runs out of the cornucopia, and now he's looking for a place to hang low. And a spider is actually going to, like, assassin's creed in him, hitting him <laughs> once, twice, and possibly another time. And he is trying to book it out of there as fast as possible. A third time, a fourth time, oh. a fifth time, a sixth time, seventh from the skeleton, could eight, nine. This could be the end. That iron armor is proving useful, but I don't think he's going to be able to do much more because he has to be lo low on health. So he's oh, making he's a wall. He, that's a very. <laughs> I've never seen a wall put up that fast. But that AI oh, is gonna it's... get him. Oh. There he is, taken out. He could have finished the wall. Taken down. He could have finished the wall, and been fine. But he actually didn't. And maybe he misplaced a few blocks. Ah, oh, that was the he, fastest wall construction I think I've ever seen. I've never seen but... a wall constructed faster. You're right. <laughs> wow. It's funny because now that he took all the mobs outside, Draco is now back on the cornucopia. Uh, claiming it for his own. So it's kind of funny how that happens. Juicy, I don't know if that was the smartest idea. Oh, and there goes Link. <laughs> died from hunger there. So Link dying from hunger. He even said about a bit earlier that he was dying. I'm sorry, he was dying early from hunger. But it looks like it's now finally kicked in. And we are now down to three players. Mana, Josh, and Draco. Draco is taking control of the cornucopia. Let's go check out what Mana and Josh are doing. See that they are a two-player team. Uh, Josh is... Uh, he seems to be up in the roof somewhere. Um, and Mana's on the actual outside roof. When you say roof, do you mean, like, the top top, or...? Well, Josh is, yeah, top top, but he's sort of inside of it, not... Inside. So if you go inside... I see the, him, I see him. If you go on the corner cover, then go up, yeah. Let's go check out what Josh is doing. Let's actually spectate him. I love the spectate mode. The spectate... Oh, I, I don't think I spectated the wrong... the right person. The spectate mode is a little laggy, but it's really cool to look at because it kind of gives you an idea of what they have in their inventory and what they can do. So he has an iron sword and he has shears. I'm not shears. That's actually a pretty interesting thing to get because you're going to be able to keep those leaf blocks and use them whenever you want. I think it's also uh, for the vines of this map as well. That is uh, true. Yeah. You can obviously take the vines and make easy pathways up everywhere. So. So you see that whisper that said there's a secret chest at the top of the dome. I wonder who will get it. Josh is the closest to it right now. And he immediately looks up to the top of the map. And it's going to be difficult because Draco has a bow and arrow. So he's going to have to get out of this area without a uh, without getting hit. Uh, Link died of uh, thirst. Not oh, enough. surprising actually. Mm. Uh oh, taking a little Lead bit of fall away. damage there. Where is mana? Because I don't think Draco was at any point to actually get up to the top of the 
to get to the top of the dome right now. And can we make it out there ourselves? I don't know. Let's go. Let's find an exit so out of this Manor place. Manor is making his way up there. He's uh, putting stone blocks down to get up. Yeah, it's the best way to do it. And I think Mana is going to beat everyone else at the top. And I see the chest. And I don't want to open it. I'm going to wait till Mana gets here to open it. Actually, actually I'm going to open so it. It's a race here between Mana and Josh, it looks like. Quite a, a bit of materials. Race, we see... We see a lot of armor, a lot of ender pearls, and a few weapons. Very useful to have if anyone wants to win it. So here, Josh is coming to the top. Josh I is going to beat him. Josh, made Josh it. is going to get this one. But now he's going to have to get down. And since they're on the same team, they could split. Or right here, Josh could try to take mana out. As far as mana at this point, I might. Yep. I would. Oh, he puts the pants on, though. And I don't think mana's going to be able to contest it anymore. I'd try and kill him while he was in his inventory, to be fair. But. Yeah, but those pants would have gone on and it would have been difficult. So, actually, Josh is going to be the friendly one. He passes a few Ender Pearls, but isn't really <laughs> able to do much. A Lava Bucket is in hand as well. Uh, that's now mana. That can quickly churn the tides of uh, a battle. I've seen people accidentally get stuck in lava, and it does a lot more hearts than you want it to do. But, uh, Draco is. He seems to. I'm not quite sure what he's doing down here, but. Do you know what they should do? Oh, I think he's making a trap, actually. That's quite... They should put a bucket of water on top of this dome so they can get back up here just by going up the stream of water. So, what is this team of two going to do? Can they see what Draco is doing? And I don't even see Draco down here. I don't, I don't see him anywhere. You said he's making a trap. Was that inside the dome or outside the dome? Oh, is that Draco? Uh, just outside of the uh, oh, okay. I see dome now. at the bottom. He's making his way up there now. Is he going up to the top of the dome? Because yep, he knows other people are up he's there. He's going to meet them now. He, oh, they put down the lava a bit too early there, trying to get him. But Draco is up there. And Draco Why is trying. Way? Draco actually Why takes out mana. What is Josh Can doing? Josh? Josh literally just sat there, and Draco throws the Ender Pearl, and he's going to be able to escape now. But Draco is now on top of the dome, and Josh is going to be able to run away. Josh just sat there. He let Mana die. I think it was actually Josh's fault Mana died, because Mana was low on health. And look at him. From running away, he's actually now being chased by lots of mobs that were on the roof, including that creeper that just did a lot of damage to him. So he's going to have to be careful. I don't know if that was the greatest idea, because he did see that even though he wasn't full iron, that he was still being attacked by two people, and two people can take out one person any day. Yeah, it's true. Josh uh, being hit by... I'm surprised Josh didn't fall off right there. He just got hit by an arrow, and... He, he was on this last little leaf right here. I thought he was going to be knocked off the ledge into the pit and then die. So what's Draco going to do here? I want to see him break some glass and shoot some arrows down, but I don't I think he's he's going to be have to be careful of this lava here. He's getting precariously close. And there we see Draco actually coming out here, taking a little bit of fall damage, but it doesn't really matter. It's being oh, he uh, is killed! Uh, uh, Even if he wasn't killed right there, he was going to be knocked off the edge. So we do have our winner, which is Draco. Draco, the winner of our 10th weekly, weekly games. 10th weekly games. So, good job, Draco. I wonder if he's going to be killed by admins. I'm not sure. But if not, um, it should be interesting what happens. I don't know if I even remember how to do this. <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't know how to do it. Oh, there um, comes the Ender Dragon. It it's actually flew inside the dome. That's actually quite a nice look right there. Lava. He's going to go through the lava and trying to take him out. And oh, and that's a little silverfish silver everywhere. So here Draco goes trying to escape the silverfish, and he's on top of a ceiling as well. Even more silverfish being spawned. That is so many silverfish, you oh, can't even I, move. Oh, into, into the lava, lava. Into the lava. He has iron armor, but he's not going to be able to do much. Something just wow. spawned, and it was ridiculous. I think it's creepers. Oh my god. Oh dear lord. And they're being hit by lightning too. Holy crap. Supercharged creepers there. So there he goes. Congratulations <laughs> to Draco for winning this game. Uh, I think the dragons are taking out the dome in a good, fiery finish. It was a fun game. I really like this map. This is one of my favorite yeah. maps we've actually had so far. And this was the Labyrinth map. That hopefully we're going to see on the map pool soon for the automated games. Because I, I want to play this map myself. I want to see what kind of strategy we are. And I want to go find my Easter eggs I planted somewhere. I, I mean, it's a Labyrinth. I'm going to have to figure out where they are. But it should still be pretty fun.